what's happening, everybody out here. So when I had my car down at Steeda uh, to do the suspension work on the car, uh, I had an opportunity to roam around the shop uh, over at Steeda. I saw so much stuff there that day that uh, it was mind-boggling. You know, they had a, uh, a 2018 Mustang there all torn down for a customer. The guy's uh, building up the motor and the suspension's out of it. Everything's out of it. I got some really close, uh, up close, you know, videos of that. And uh, they had Steeda's race car in there uh, on the dyno. In the other building, there was a bunch of Steeda cars, their Q-Series cars, really nice stuff. And uh, I'm really excited to bring it to you. So check this video out. We're just going to roll right into it. Hey, check out this car. This is a car that came from Steeda. Never hit the dealers, came right here. And uh, this is a car they're building up for the street car series on TV. Beautiful 18 Mustang. Look at that. They got it's like seven miles on it. Seven miles, wow. Look at that, front suspension. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing uh, motion control remote reservoir struts. Nice. Look at that, egg gaskets. The whole front subframe. You're getting all the steeder parts. Look at this. That's really cool. So Rod, what do you got over here on the engine stand? Uh, this is a fully built 2018 Coyote motor, all forged bottom end, uh, American Racing headers, Marosa oil pan. Wow. Uh, it's going to be equipped with a supercharger. We're going to be bolting on the supercharger, putting everything back onto the subframe, and then dropping the car around it. Can I look underneath this? Sir? Sure, it's just the stock intake underneath. Oh, I see. This, uh, these fuel, these fuel rails, this is all stock stuff? All stock stuff. Wow. We expect this motor to be putting out in the uh, seven to 800 horsepower area. Well, that's pretty stout. Stock throttle body? Is that that's something? Yeah, stock throttle body for now. That may be changed. Oh, uh, yeah, look at that 18 motor direct injection. I guess I should have spotted that when I saw the fuel rails. Really, really cool. Yeah, look at this. Getting all this data stuff. All these links, all of this nice looking brakes. Really cool stuff. Here's another car we have over at Steeda's shop. Customer's car. Uh, it looks like a, I don't know, 80, 88 to 93 Fox body. And uh, look at all of this cool stuff under the hood. Trick flow heads, trick flow intake. I don't know. DBK parts. Yeah, really cool stuff. Yep. Yeah, this is what's happening down at Steeda. Really nice shop. Really cool people. There you see the nose piece and some of the other parts for the 18 Mustang. And they're really tearing this thing down. This stock exhaust, radiator, car up on the left. I'm really excited to see what happens with this car when it's all done. Hey everybody, check out this car. This is a this is car Steeda's building up, 15 Mustang. All right, they're bringing it over to Daytona to race it over there. Look at what they got under the hood here. It's a 2015 Coyote GT350 intake. Steeda strut tower brace, MCS shocks. Look at that motion control. Look at this catch can. It's kind of tied in over to the other side. And I'm also told that this is a prototype cold air intake that they're working with here on this one. This car is going to be dyno today, and they're going to try to squeeze all the power they can out of it, to, you know, just to get it ready for the track. And uh, look at this beauty, man. Look at this. Look at the tubular roll bar they got in there. Look at that hood. Get all the heat out. This thing is nice. Those tires. I don't I don't know what kind of wheels they are. I'll find out. I'll find out from Rod, but got big slotted brakes. What do they got in the front? Is that Wildwood. Really cool. Yeah, this is a beauty, man. Gonna have to watch them race this car. Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get to see them put it on the dyno. Or actually, a little later on, fire it up on the dyno. 
can smell the race gas. Really cool. An 18 oil pan, and they changed the design on this setup. It used to be a metal pickup. Well, now it's a plastic pickup, and it's wow. adhered to the plastic oil pan. And the windage tray is a part of the oil pan itself. They started out with this with the GT350 with the uh, plastic oil pan set up, but then they decided to go this style with the uh, with the 18. Probably trying to make it lighter. Of course. Well, yeah. plastic's cheaper too. And know? this this is that uh, this dual is, clutch. What are, what are they yeah, this is the, the dual clutch set up in an 18 also with the MT82. Yeah, this is it. We got the dual mass flywheel. They go. They end up going with a dual mass flywheel too for the uh, for the clutch application. Also, very compact, very cool. But this right here, this is the missing link in, right. in the back. The, this this bushing when we put the spherical in it, that's like you know the stage two or stage three, whatever you want to do. But that's a that's a very good upgrade. And this has got the billet or non-adjustable billet camber arms. Right. What kind of shocks is that? Uh, the MCS coilovers, remote reservoir, cool. with our uh, two-piece rear rotor. Yeah, wow, look at that. Really nice. And, uh, we'll down for All right, this is a good look at, a, at an MT-84 D4 transmission uh, that came out of this blue car right here. Um, I personally couldn't tell you the difference between this transmission and its predecessor, but well, I have the opportunity uh, to get a good look at it. See you all right there. See inside. Bell housing. And this is the clutch with the dual mass flywheel. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's like a very, very compact looking clutch. Really cool looking. Get a good look at this stuff. Right, so, we're going to take a look at some of the cars that Steeda has here in their shop. Uh, this is a uh, 2002 uh, Steeda Q400. This is a beautiful car. I mean, I'm, I'm personally not a big fan of the New Edge Mustangs, but, you know, Steeda just does a really good job with their cars. That is really nice. And this one is a 2014 uh, Steeda Q650. I believe this is very much like the car that Muscle Mustang Fast Forward did a video, did a, uh, an article on in their magazine. Uh, this car's got a, um, it's basically stock other than the Vortex Supercharger and uh, maybe a couple of other pieces, the Steeda strut tower brace and, and so on. But uh, the car is really nice. You can see it's got Steeda's trademark um, front nose pieces. Really nice looking car. It's got some nice looking wheels. Absolute beauty. And this one is a uh, 2016 uh, Q500 Mustang GT. Some Steeda nose pieces here. Look, looks beautiful. I mean, they just do such a good job with their cars. And if you look in here, you can see you've got this, you know, the Steeda cold air kit. And that looks like a GT350 intake manifold. I bet they're really tuning on this one. Really nice looking car. Uh, this, um, if you get a good look, you can see this car's got the Brembo six piston brakes. Big front rotors, Steeda's G track suspension. It looks nice, you know. It, it's um, it's it's low. I I don't know. Is it slammed? I don't think it looks slammed. But if you look at the nose piece on this one, right? There's another here. This is a another 2016 uh, Q500. And this nose piece is different. Look at this one. You can see it's got all this different stuff in here. It's got that little kind of thing going through the fog light. It's really low to the ground. Beautiful looking car. I don't know, what is that, Deep Impact Blue? 
really nice. There you can get a good look at the brakes, Brembo suspension, or Steedon's Jeep track suspension with the six piston brakes, blackout package, the size of the wheels back here. Really awesome. I was just told that this is a Fusion Sport. Uh, this is a car that's got a twin turbo four cylinder in it um, that you know makes a lot of power. Steve has been tuning on this thing, turning up the wick on the boost. And uh, this car also is all wheel drive. So I was given fair warning. You see this car in the street, don't mess with it. It looks like a plain Jane Fusion, but I hear this car really hauls ass. This is the car they got here. I believe this car uh, was in SEMA uh, back in 2010 or something like that. I'm not really sure, but uh, nice looking car. Nice looking wheels, really cool. And a couple of cars over there we're not allowed to see. They're pretty tight-lipped about it. They wouldn't tell me anything, but other than that, they're race cars. And it's a Steeda shop. This is what goes on in here. Beautiful shop, nice and clean, very professional. Love it. Love everything about it. There it is right there, speed matters. Damn right. This is a good shot. I mean, you can get a good look at what the front subframe looks like. You know, they, they, uh, they got the motor out of the car. You can see all the components. You can see everything in here. Every part. The shocks that they're using here. The old head gaskets. The electric power steering. Steve's front sway bar. Get a look at it from this side. Little spindle. I mean, I find that just absolutely amazing, the, the electric steering. Heck, I remember the days of power steering pumps and listening to them go bad and shake, whining and making all funny noises. Those days are over. Yeah, that's the easy way to do it better. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a good look at the long tube. decided to pull the motor out to do better. Might as well totally rebuild the motor while you have it out. One thing I, I uh, wanted to show you is uh, people with Steeda decided to change the stock oil pan. The stock oil pan is plastic, it's got plastic pickup in it, and uh, this thing looks like it has the expandability to be dry sump. It's not dry sump, it's, uh, they're just using it to replace the plastic pan. This is a really good look. Some of the direct inject stuff in the, in the long tubes. And that's telling me about direct injecting, direct injection. Yeah, that's all, right. all, all of this in here. Right. Yeah, look at that. See, I wouldn't have known that. I've really never seen that's one of these. Your, on your car, the new 2018 direct injector. It's the injector port right inside the cylinder. Wow, that is incredible. Look at that. And then over on this side, right here. Over on this side, we got the high pressure, the high pressure pump right here. And that's running off the cam. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. There's a different lobe on the camshaft, shaped like a pyramid that spins that, which turns 60 pounds of fuel pressure into high pressure. Wow. Very, this very cool. On the back. This is a pretty stout motor. You say you built this motor up? Yeah, it's an NPR short block. Sleeves? And Darton, Darton sleeves, wow. uh, billet rods, diamond pistons. Incredible. I want to see this one run. <laughs> oh, yeah. Very good. I mean, I'm, I'm one of these people that just loves box bodies. Look at this, man. This car is beautiful. The owner's got the car here. Uh, something went a little astray with it. It was running good, but something happened. It's not running quite as good, so he dropped it over here to see it. Try to get it uh, diagnosed and uh, see what they could do to fix it. But I gotta tell you, I don't know, something happens to me when I see a Fox body. I absolutely love them. Love these cars. But for me, 
You don't want this to push stuff. Been there, done that. I've done too many of them already. Today. Since I took the first video. Look at this intake they put on. Close their box. I don't know how many millimeters that is, but that thing is huge. ABS plastic, closed air box. I imagine the closed air box is to get cold air from here and not be starved because too much air is flowing through there. Very, very interesting. Cool stuff. It's got a nice sound to it. machine I don't know what it posted actually I'm told that I'm not supposed to know what it's doing but uh, this thing is running some serious numbers really awesome machine we get a good look at the front of the uh, 2018 motor you know this is a uh, coyote motor and uh, then, you know there's really nothing usually different about it really other than you know you can see two lines here but uh, yeah, this is it. This is what it looks like. 2018 motor out of the car. Looking pretty cool. Something here too. Something I get to see for the first time. This is pretty much where the oil filter goes. This is this kind of block in here that the inlet and the outlet for the oil cooler. Sort of neat looking little piece. Very cool. Alright, everybody check this out. Uh, this is a uh, complete rear IRS for a, uh, I guess, a 15 to 18, uh, 19 Mustang here in Steve's showroom. And this is really cool because this side here shows you all the stock components, all the links, all the bushings, all of the stuff. This is all stock stuff, all this in here, right? This, this down here, stock sway bar, right? It's all stock, stock axle. And then you come around to this side, and it shows you some of the Steeda parts. Now these are all adjustable links in here, stronger, lighter. Another link in here with stronger bushings, right? You got this adjustable link down in here as well. And uh, you got the Steeda sway bar here. And uh, I don't see an axle, but uh, the aftermarket, aftermarket axles that are on my car, imagine would be a good fit for this illustration here and then uh, you've got these bushings just the same these are the same bushings I just put in my car these are the uh, 
I don't know, they sister up these bushings just to stiffen this up. So we ran housing. And uh, here, you know, you got these pieces as well. Really cool. And then you got this display over here. Some of the parts that uh, I actually put in my car. I got a similar one to that right there. You got these links here on the display. Lots of cool stuff. Look at that. Cut away of a float master muffler. A manic balancer. Sway bars front and rear. Really cool stuff. This little guy right here. Strut tower brace. There's another strut tower brace right here. I don't know what that's for. SM95 maybe. Cool looking. All right, guys. So that was all of the happenings down at Steeda uh, the day that I had my car down there doing the suspension work. I uh, had a great time, but before I forget, I just want to say uh, I want to throw out a huge thank you to the people over at Steeda, uh, Rodney, for the excellent customer service, the quick response. I mean, it, you know, he made it so easy. It really was a pleasure. Uh, and to Matt for some excellent, uh, you know, work on the car. And uh, you can see in this video all his knowledge about these 18 Mustangs, you know, and all of these late models. Uh, he's quite a guy to be around. He knows his stuff. So um, I also want to make mention, uh, you know, in, in the channel, somebody, uh, um, meant, you know, dropped a comment that uh, I had never driven a 351 Mustang. Actually, I have. I built a couple of them. Uh, here's a couple of pictures of some of the 351 uh, engines that I put in my Fox body years ago. Uh, I was pretty good for taking pictures, um, you know, so here you see uh, the engine being dropped in, you know, with the big three-quarter inch, you know, one, one and three-quarter inch headers. And uh, here's another picture of the engine bay. Uh, I had um, some pretty, pretty romping cars for the day. Had a lot of fun with those Fox bodies. But you know what? Been there, done that. It's all over. Today, it's, you know, it's the, it's the 18 Mustang. Now, that's not going to be my last time down at Steeda. I can tell you that. Uh, I got some more mods planned for the car. So stay with me as we go through this. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.